Hello everyone, my name is Fabian Zimmer. I am the acting product manager for the memory team at GitLab and I'm going to explain to you our priorities and the work we're going to do in 13.9 GitLab's next release. So what we're doing right now is we are working on understanding how we can reduce GitLab's memory consumption um, overall globally, but also specifically how we can reduce the footprint for installations that have not as much memory available, um, ideally with the goal of reducing it um, to under two gigabytes. And so in GitLab 13.8, we did quite a bit of research work identifying the building blocks for memory reduction. In 13.9, we're going to actually do some more implementation work, um, hopefully reducing GitLab's memory consumption. And the first item I want to point out here is um, reducing Puma's memory footprint. There are two specific things that we're going to address here. One is the uh, running Puma in a single mode for, sync, for memory constrained environments. So this is um, particularly impactful for installations that have um, not as much memory available, who also tend to be smaller and therefore may not actually benefit from um, Puma running uh, in our standard sort of multi-threaded mode. Um, and we may be able to actually just use Puma in single mode, which hopes, uh, which we hope has an impact of around 250 megabytes when it's idle. The other thing is that we're going to um, run uh, GC, so garbage collection compacting before forking in to Puma workers um, via this specific fork here. And this is also um, a specific setting that we can apply um, in order to reduce the memory consumption. And the work is already on the way. So we hope that we can ship this in 13.9. We've also taken a deep look at GitLab Exporter. And initially, we thought that we would be able to actually remove it entirely, but that uh, may not be the best strategy going forward. And so what we are aiming to do here is to uh, move a couple of metrics out of GitLab Exporter. Um, so for example, we've removed the process metrics, but we're also going to um, actually migrate GitLab Exporter to a different rec server that is more lightweight, thereby reducing some memory consumption um, and optimize some of the GitLab exporter settings. And so this is going to be a wider product effort in the long run to determine the future of GitLab exporter. But from a memory team perspective, we're going to make the most impactful changes right now um, and then um, you know, maybe move to a, uh, a different area where the product teams need to actually decide specifically how we can handle GitLab exporter in the in the future. We're also going to make some um, initial um, work happen with regards to loading optimizations for dependencies. So we are interested in providing a mechanism to only really load GraphQL when it is needed. So this is um, quite interesting um, because GraphQL may not be needed everywhere. So we are, we're trying to figure out um, how we can actually only load what we really require that may then in turn reduce memory consumption. Um, and then there's a rather large piece of work here um, to really split the application a little bit more so that we only load those areas of, of the application that are needed. That's a little bit more researchy at the moment uh, because it's a, it's a broad topic. Um, we're also going to take uh, some sort of further steps in breaking down and reviewing items that are on our list for future milestones. Um, so there is a bit of work that I have to do and other team members in order to understand what's next. And that's it from the memory team. We're looking forward to 13.9 and um, delivering on some of the findings that we had earlier. So thanks for listening and see you next time.